not my grown self buying a children's book. Yes, my grown self bought a children's book. And here it is. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and let's just get straight into it and start with the obvious. Congratulations to Harry and Meghan on their newborn Lilibet Lily Diana Von Batten Windsor. Wow, that is a mouthful. Such a wonderful thing to see them give birth to a healthy baby girl, especially after Meghan had a miscarriage. What I love about this the most is that nobody even knew that the baby had been born for two days. Even at TMZ didn't know. And they will tell you that your relative died even before you know. I think this just goes to show what a reliable team that Harry and Meghan have over in the US because there is absolutely no way that they would be able to have this level of privacy and control if they were still here in the UK. And with the exception of internet trolls who are probably never going to shut up, Meghan got to have a relatively peaceful pregnancy this time. No having to do tours or press appearances or stand outside of the hospital after you've just pushed out a kid. I don't wanna to get too much into negatives in this video because I'm sure those of you who have been out here on these Twitter streets saw some of the reaction from the usual trolls and naysayers. I don't even know why they're trying to hide their prejudice and bigotry at this point. How you can find anything negative to say about a baby, a newborn baby. And what gets me even more is this child is only a quarter black. A quarter. And they are still out here spewing their vitriol. Well, they can spew all the vitriol they want. They are only poisoning themselves. Meghan and Harry are winning. The squad is winning. And we continue to win because that's all we do. All we do is win. And today on this great day, June 8th, Meghan scores yet another win, a best-selling children's book. Not my grown self buying a children's book. Yes, my grown self bought a children's book. And here it is. I went to Foils first thing in the morning and it was right at the front of the store. So I'm not going to reveal anything in the book that hasn't already been revealed and I would please ask other squaddies to do the same. Let's not ruin it for everyone and we want people to actually buy the book. So here it is, let me just hold it up so you can see the size of it. I actually think this is a very good size for a children's book and it really brings out the beautiful illustrations who of course were done by Christian Robinson. And if you take off the cover, you can see this beautiful wood texture here, which I'm assuming is the wood texture of a bench. And you can see H plus A, which of course means Harry and Archie. Maybe they have their names ingrained on a bench in their garden. Then on the first part of the inside sleeve, you have this part here that says, this is your bench for father and son to celebrate joys and victories one. And you have the different types of illustrations of benches. And on the back inner sleeve, this is actually something we got to see um, only yesterday, but you have an illustration of Megan and also the illustrator, and it has both of their profiles on the back part of the inner sleeve. So this is one of the pages that was released in the preview. And on this page, it says, from here you will rest, see the growth of our boy. And there's just something about the use of watercolors in this book that gives it so much warmth. I love painting. I use both watercolors and acrylic, but watercolor is generally harder to work with because it's wet on wet. Whereas with acrylic, once it dries, if you've made any mistakes, you can kind of just go over it. So it's definitely a, a skill to use watercolor and use it well. And the colors just really pop in this book. This of course is another page that we saw in the previews and here in the window I'll have tears of great joy looking out at my love and our beautiful boy and another thing I love about this book is the representation in here. Almost everybody is represented and I feel like almost everybody can see themselves in this book. All in all I think it's a beautiful book and I think it's wonderful that Megan has chosen to honor fathers in this way. We know that her relationship with her father isn't the best and not to take any responsibility from him, but the press definitely didn't help. And I just find it so disingenuous that the same people who tried to weaponize her father against her are now turning around and saying, how dare she write a book about, you know, fathers and sons when she doesn't have a relationship with her dad, when they're partly responsible for that. We need better representation of fathers 
and representations of manhood that don't revolve around this toxic machismo version of masculinity that is so normalized in our society. This is what needs to be normalized to be a kind, compassionate, caring man and father. So there you have it, the bench is out. It's about 40 pages long and I hope Megan does come out with another one, maybe one more aimed at girls and mothers, especially now that Lily's been born, I'm pretty sure that will inspire some creativity in her. And again, like everything that Megan and Harry have been doing since they moved to the States, there were no leaks. And let me tell you something, as somebody who's involved in publishing, when you're creating a book, there's so many hands that it has to go through. The fact that there were no leaks, the fact that there are never any leaks about anything they do since they've left the UK really just speaks volumes. So please comment below, let me know if you're going to get a copy of The Bench yourself. And I'm very curious to see what they're going to do for baby Lily's first photo because as we know, when Archie was born, the only thing we got was a picture of his feet. So are we gonna get a picture of baby Lily's hands? I don't know. Whatever is comfortable for Harry and Meghan, heck, if they don't ever want to release a picture of this child until she is seen out in public, that's absolutely fine as well. Whatever it is they want to do. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.